Right, back again. Um, this time I'm prototyping uh, an Arduino Nano breakout board, um, which features an, uh, a little LCD screen on the uh, board and also the um, HM10 Bluetooth module, which is uh, hardwired to the serial port on this particular board. So the uh, machine is busy lasering the paint that I've uh, laid down on this board. So I've, I've, as you can see, I've scratched that up as well to take the uh, sheen off of it. Even though it's a satin colour, it always adds a, a sheen to it, which um, would um, deflect the uh, laser. So, um, on this particular board, mm. um, this is obviously what I've done in, in um, Tuna Pro. Um, Flat cam, sorry, <clears throat> is I've um, flipped it. So I've imported the, the Jabber file. Um, I flipped it, obviously, because I'm doing the other side, and obviously, when you turn the PCB over to draw the holes and, and populate it, obviously, it's, it's correct. So I've done that using the double sided tool, which is um, up here. And I've gone wide box and then flipped it. As for settings wise, well, I've gone for, well, it doesn't really matter about the Z cut travel speed, but I've set a, a feed rate of 300, um, a tool diameter of 0.1, and set it for 80% power. Actually, 10,000 being my maximum, 80% being 8,000. Um, that's for the uh, CNC job. Well, I've exported that, put it into uh, uh, laser. GRBL and there we have it so um, obviously we've got me uh, uh, digital ports there perhaps analog digital down there um, LCD is there which comes across and then I've got me uh, Bluetooth module which sits sits there um, I'm using one of the lines D2 um, which is just there to enable the device, so we lose one of the I/O pins, which is why there's only seven across the top. Um, I've not separately broken out the uh, UART port um, TX and RX because they've got the Bluetooth module. That's the whole point of the board. So you can connect to it wirelessly and uh, send and receive stuff, which you can print on the uh, onboard LCD, or you can. Uh, Obviously, you use the digital eye pins and use, um, you know, other boards, relays, you know, transistor FET circuits. Um, this board does feature um, a L7805 chip on board, and it also features a, um, a, a Zenodiode based um, voltage reference um, device which provides. 5 volts exactly which um, comes down here goes into a, a VREF out and then obviously goes into pin number 3 on the Arduino so yeah it's got a little board I've broken out the 5 volt out got ground plate there and got 5 volts out there and I've got a DC jack 12 volts in and ground so you can feed it via the uh, jack or solar and terminal so it's basically just a quick breakout board really for a, an Arduino yeah it's difficult to uh, to go further with it I did want to put some switches on the board and other stuff but it, obviously they would tie up IO pins the idea is to make it as versatile as possible and have an LCD screen on board it's obviously quite useful and having the Arduino Bluetooth wireless connectivity is is very useful so yeah so, yeah, very busy. I can see the copper through the board, which is good news. I've done uh, three passes at 0.1 overlap, 0.01 in fact. So the idea, and I'm running at 300 speed, so it's going to take about an hour and 46 minutes to complete this job. Um, yeah. I've got warm, I'm warming up the bubble etch tank as we speak. 
think that's up to temperature. So after you get the board in there once I've cleaned it, and then I'll draw that out. So uh, yeah, come along very nicely. Very pleased with this technique. Um, I've used acetates um, in the past with laser printers. Anyway, to find that some of the toner sort of rubs off the acetates as you're, you know, using it. You get breaks in the tracks. And obviously when you double them up, you always find you get some sort of slight overlap. Um, yeah, this is a really nice, precise way of producing a PCB, really.